Come on, Mark Tights TV. Uh, you know, another penalty twice on Bob. I don't think we met by up for uh, although we didn't score. Come back twice. Uh, a bit more attacking. So, yeah, a bit to talk through. Ryan, as always, pleasure having you on, mate. Um, yeah, we're on about it in preview. You mm -hmm. know, own games, you need to be winning your own games and no respect to Fleetwood. It was one of my kind of tricky games because we knew last season, but it was more or less last minute where we, we had to go to nitty gritty to wire. Um, but how did you find this game, Ryan? Because coming into it, we brought a couple of hundred. Um, I thought, and I've just been on about it, I thought we started on front foot, like we were saying, we needed to be, didn't we? Yeah. Yeah, um, I said in preview I might end up with egg on my face. And, uh, <laughs> I'm going to stop saying it with three, because last time I said it was going to be 3 0 to Bert against Burton last season, we lost, we lost, didn't we? So I'm going to, I'm going to get all I think saying that. Um, cho chose a different score. But um, yeah, I mean, it was a frustrating afternoon, but, but I thought we actually played quite a bit better than we have been. Or certainly, maybe not be better, but maybe not the right word, a lot more attacking. Than we have been a lot of the mm. sideways sideways stuff that, that's been frustrating fans for it were quite limited during the game and i thought we were on the front foot quite a bit mm. um but we just didn't have that killer instinct in the final third did we i mean we did you know obviously the equalizing goal were a good goal we got another penalty two 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 in two games we, didn't, we don't get one for two hit nearly two year in league and then we, what you reckon to that is... year and then we get two in two games it's, it's crackers <laughs> Did you see so, that with penalty? A bit of an argy badge between Kane and Cole, weren't there? A bit of a to me to you, I'm taking penalty and it, 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 yeah, it, it? They need to sort that out, really, because it, you know, as I said previously, I don't think they've actually got they you know what penalty take is going to be. Collins needs to sort that out. Mm. Um, I don't know, I don't, I mean, I've not seen replay yet, but it didn't look a terribly poor penalty. I think keeper just guessed right, but he's knocked it in anyway, and so you yeah. know, end of the day, we, we come away with a goal, didn't we? So that, that's that's the idea of a of having a penalty, even though the actual penalty kick yourself were missed. Mm -hmm. But, like I said, I think it would have been a lot more attacking. We seem to play a lot more open football. Um, mm -hmm. The frustrating thing is that Fleetwood were there for tech in and we, we should we should, we should have beat them. For all intents and purposes, that were a winning performance. Um, but we just couldn't seem to just get that, you know, get, get it over the line. Um but I am pleased to see that, you know, it shows a good mental attitude, the fact that we come, we were down twice, we actually managed to get back into the game twice, which is mm. which, which is a positive. Um, just wish we could have obviously seen it through for three points. Yeah, I mean, the score we conceded, it, it tends to be a bit of a up uh, bounce, all, all's ball with it kind of thing. And I saw, you know, when it I got put away, I saw Karen Evan go to give me and give me finger points. And I'm thinking... Look, end of the day, just take accountability for it. Either off it upfield or gate in Rose, don't be. Is it is it mine? Is it yours? Kind of thing. Penalty again. I thought, I mean, to say that Kane took it on Tuesday against Shrewsbury, I thought, oh, Kane's going to take this because he'd be put it away pretty decent. Yeah. And then it was a bit of a scuffle. I'm thinking, well, you know, who's, who's, who's call with that? Like I said, were it Collins? Were it Devante? Did they make my mind about pitch? When he scored, I know that, that yeah. Kane didn't really go towards and celebrate kind of thing we we call that didn't, but, it didn't look great that you know that no. that's i mean where, where, who, whose fault is that is it the coaches is it is it the captains whose fault is it they need to yeah. establish after what happened on tuesday night when obviously they, they didn't know who were going to take it and kane eventually taking it mm. at that point then they should have decided who's going if, if it. It today who's taking it and that's it and follow and follow team orders yeah, that's Sit there, it. Fatching like two kids because I, you know, almost like two kids arguing about whose ball it is. So, yeah, <laughs> you know, it's it, it just it, it looked a bit, it looked a bit silly. Um, they need what to we... address, they need to just address that and decide who's actually going to take penalties. Yeah, like I said, either captain on pitch and said a lot of accountability or coach and work on it. I mean, we've had, I mean, Christ knows we've had how long before we've had a penalty. Now we've got two in space at two home games and we're arguing now we're going to take it. Probably it's because it's yeah. been that long. Everybody wants to penalty, but. Uh, getting back to second goal, I mean, we're, where I was sat, it, for me, it didn't look a penalty. Uh, sorry, penalty. It didn't look a, a free kick. It just seemed to yeah, be yeah. a bit of a coming together, a bit of a, a shoulder that way. It wasn't a foul, foul. But in the same respect, when it's, once the referee blew, I thought, what cards are you going to get? Yeah. Honest, my arm thinking, is he going to see this as throw on goal? 
because you were a prop decent on my and a yellow card. I thought I'll take that. <laughs> I'll take that. Yeah, Even yeah. When he yellow, I, I, as soon as you went to his pocket, I thought yeah. red, and I was looking which pocket we're going for. Yeah, because <laughs> you know, red's up here, isn't it? And he, he yeah. went down to his back pocket, and I was like, oh Christ, thank, thank Christ for yeah. that. But I think it, I'm not sure it was that we're outside of Williams. Um, Barnes and defense. I don't know if it would have given you or not, but they look like you know they could have potentially covered it, and that's maybe why the referee brought a yellow. Yeah, yeah. But it was a soft free kick. The, land, the, the defenders turned him, and he's turned him and gone away, and he's just he's just sort of thrown himself on the floor a bit. I think they're a bit of a coming together and throwing himself on the floor. So I thought mm. it was a bit soft. But having free said that, kick. what a free kick that was! You know, what yeah. I mean? as, soon as, as soon as it left his foot, but it, our wall did, worked far over enough to the left. Mm. And it just created that it just created that little gap for him. Um but what a free kick. I mean, kill it were at full stretch and he couldn't get nowhere near it. It dropped it dropped it dropped just under, you know, it went up and over at bar and, and dropped down under the bar into the top corner. Well, someone said that it probably probably should have been in, he's a bit taller than he got to it. I'm thinking I've watched it back and back. I'm like, no way. It, it yeah, was proper in top, top it, corner. It that's that, that's a world is that. Yeah. Um, you know, some, sometimes it, it. you just can't stop, you know. No. And that's and that's it. It's, it's difficult to say whether Liam Roberts would, would or wouldn't have saved it. It depends where he was positioned in goal, doesn't it? It might be a bit taller, but yeah, it, it, it depends where he positioned. I, 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 like we said the other day, mate. I don't think Killip's done anything wrong. No, he actually made he actually no. made a really good save at one all, didn't he? Second yeah. half went down to his left hand side in corner. Yeah, um, but he didn't have. I mean, certainly in second half, he had nothing to do. No, um, but yeah, frustrating, mate. I, it, it was good for us to get back in. Uh, we should have. We had enough chances to win game. What's your take on Barry Cotter? Because I've seen some things and I, I won't impress with him. I've, I have expected him going off after, well, half time, if I'm being honest. Yeah, me I too. The amount terrible. of balls, his first touch, or ball coming to him, it was going out. I'm not tracking back enough. I, I, I was so, so <laughs> there to be caught, I'm thinking. And then he's, it, it's still he's, kind of the second half. He's a frustrating player because he can be good. He can be great, but he's he's often not great more than he is, <laughs> but more than he performs well. There were point. It's, it's his decision making that frustrates me. You know, there's often an easier pass on, and he tries to take two players on trying to be a superstar. Yeah. There were a one in the first half. He got that right down his right hand side. And he had a load of grass to run into. A ball were played in front of him by William. And he's gone, and he's just jogging into area. It's like, why are you not? Why are you not at full tilt to get him behind back of that defence there and, and whip a ball in? Mm. And he was just jogging in. They were not be in front of him. He just took it steady, steady, steady. Then he tried to take two players on and got tackled. Mm. And he wonders why you know fans are getting frustrated because you know it's about his decision making. He, he were getting it all. He got it all wrong, and he should have come off at half time. Yeah. I personally think O'Keefe's oh, just a better player all round. Yeah, he might not so have it's... that little flashy. That little flashy, um, you know. Turn a pace and all that sort of stuff that cost that you know sometimes comes off for him, not always, but overall, I just think he's a better player mm. and uh, with a lot more experience at this level. So yeah. for me, unless so keeps carrying a knock, and that's why that you know they're only trying he's to give him in. you know 30 minutes or so. I can't see why he gets in front, he can't, he don't get in front of Cotter, and I think he mm -hmm. will. I think he will come next, you know, probably. Yeah. I, well, I don't know what side he's going to pick for FA Cup, but definitely against Derby. Well, I'd put, yeah, I'd, I'd, I'd put O'Keefe in me. If he wants to get some minutes in, no respect to Walsh, I'd, I'd be putting all sorts of like O'Keefe in, probably put Shepard in, give some game time, some minutes and that, uh, yeah. and mix it up a bit. Another player that kind of frustrated me, or was a frustrated me, but I didn't even know he was in game really, but Adam Phillips. I thought he was yeah. really quiet. I thought he was non-existent. Did a lot of rain about, but no real end product. And I, I thought it... We played a bit better when we dropped uh, McAtee into that attacking midfield role. Obviously, we were missing uh, Styles and yeah. Jallo were up front, and we'll get on about Jallo in a minute. Uh, but again, Aaron Phillips, another player that, for some reason, since he's come back from the ban, he's never. He's not been playing well. Not been, season, I don't no, know he's he been been mental, or yeah. you know, maybe maybe he's having <clears> issues <throat> with the fact that if you know that he got sent off in final and potentially cost us the. The game, mm. although it were a wrong decision, mm. um, I don't know, mate. He's just not been that. You don't see, you know, he was so attacking last season. He, he, yeah. you know, he had the confidence to run up. I don't think I've seen him take a shot. No, I'm just about to say that I've last seen season. Him take a shot. Where is it? Where is he? Where you know? And we know he can hit him. He can hit him. He can, he can really hit him. Yeah, he just burnt, turned up, edge of box, and before you know it, it, it rifled the shot off. And like yeah. you touched on there, I don't think I've seen him do that this season. 
don't know if it's a confidence thing or what, mate. After the fight, I don't know. I don't know what's going on, but there's something going on with him because he's not. He's not the player he was last season at the minute. No, that you know, I hope. Yeah. I hope he gets his. Uh, I hope he gets it sorted soon because you know he, he was one of us. He was one of his better players last year, wasn't he? And yeah. He just seems miles off pace this season. I don't know what it is. Yeah, it's a, it's a weird. It's a weird one. This. Yeah. And <clears throat> I think in, in in games like this, when it's tricky conditions, when ball slippery, grass is ni- nice and zippy. If he could like let a, a shot go from our side, he could take a skimmer, a bobble, or out. But mm. again, I, it was one of these kind of games. I'm thinking if you just had a pop at it, you never know. Buy a ticket, you never know. But yeah, for some reason, I don't know. I'm I'm just hoping he comes good again because we know that he's got it in him. Absolutely. And he's got, and he's got about four year deal. You know, we signed a contract. Um, confidence or what? I don't know. But I just hope he comes good soon. Um, Fabio Jallo. I would please for that very comfort bench, but do you think he's one of these kind of players that fans are expecting a bit too much from him and chucking him in deep? And because I think so, there's a there's I think game. So. I mean, I like, he deserves his chance. You know <clears> what I mean? <throat> when, when, if, if we've got players out, I mean, it's a strange one that Cosgrove weren't picked unless he's picked up a knock in training. Hmm. Why he's picked Jallo over Cosgrove, but didn't put Jallo in last week when Cosgrove what on Tuesday? Sorry, when Cosgrove what actually suspended hmm. a little bit. He, he does make some odd decisions, Collins, I have to say. But we don't know what's going on behind the scenes, I suppose, so you don't know if he's picked up or not. But I mean, he was trying to make things happen, but he didn't, he didn't get any service, so it's difficult to, to rate his, his, you know, his performance. Uh, he, he was getting into good positions. We were screaming at Ponte at times when you know he, he got into good positions and they, yeah. and they weren't passing it to him. We were screaming mm. at Ponte to give it, you know, to give ball to him, but he, they, they just seemed to not, not, you know, not use him as much, so... It was difficult to rate his performance, but I think we've got to remember he's 17 year old. Yeah, you know what I mean. He's a young lad, and he has been thrown in a you know a league one where it is rough, rough and tumble. Um, it's very different to under 21s football that he plays. So I think we just need to be, like I said, I think he deserved his chance, but I just think we need to be careful about how much we use him in because you don't want to ruin what's potentially a a wonderful you know player of the future. Yeah, true, true. Do you think subs could have been made a bit slight? I mean, we touched on Barry Cotter, not a single name at, uh, you know, Phillips as well, but do you think substitutes could have been made a bit sooner? Do you think some could have I been done so. at half time? I think I think Cotter should have come off at half time. Mm. Um so yeah, yeah, I think I, I think he did leave it a bit late, but you know, it was good to see that the um Bringing O'Keefe on and getting the rights, you know, it ended up, you know, getting us the goal, and it was it was a good goal as well. Although I did think when I, when I watched it live, I thought it was offside. I waited for, I waited for oh, that. I was waiting for that. Yeah, I looked over straight away for him because we're yeah. to offside. Well, call amount of times you were running into offside traps as well. Yeah. So I think Lee Johnson, you know, kind of know Lee Johnson. He kind of has drilled that into Fleetwood for the offside trap kind of thing, and it was working. Yeah. It was frustrating. But it were working for Fleetwood because the amount of times that Cole were in good positions and all of a sudden it's like, oh, then you'll cover and it's like lying all sort of bit flag. So I think Lee Johnson got Fleetwood. Fleetwood have felt disappointed with that. Um, it's only yet so far, but I agree with you with O'Keefe. I think um, he made a difference when he came on. I think, well, my opinion, I think there were a couple of players that. What well, did all right? Um, I think Herbie Kane. Yeah, yeah, yeah Herbie had a good game. Yeah. Um, De Givney, again, one of these who's looks accomplished and comfortable on ball, apart from early goal. Yeah. Um, McCart, I thought McCart didn't have that bad a game, if I'm being honest. Um, yeah, right. No, he took a bump on Ed, but I'm thinking he's going to go off. But no, we sold you on and braved on through it. But I think in overall performance, it would a Disappointing is in the result, you know, at home. Shame we come like bounce on and you know, carry on, sorry, with that. But again, showing character as well, uh, Ryan, like, like yeah, so I, that's what I'm, I'm not, I'm not too disappointed because I think we played well for, for large parts of that game without a massive amount of end product. But we actually, you know, the kind of football that's been frustrating us weren't really that evident on uh, you know yesterday. And if you notice, when we started playing a lot more attacking football, there were a lot more atmosphere around Oakwell yesterday. Mm-hmm. A much better atmosphere around Oakwell. And certainly in the second half, we got right behind the lads, we really did. 
you know, we pushed and we pushed out that, you know, we, the fans pushed on and I thought it were nice to get that again. And maybe that's a bit of a point to note for Collins is if you play that kind of football, that's what that's the kind of atmosphere you'll get. Yeah. Um, so I'm not, I'm, obviously I did want the three points, but I'm not too disappointed in, you know, it's not one of them where it's two all and you're coming away and thinking, oh, bloody hell, we'll drop two points there. Because I don't think that were two points dropped. I think it would a point earned myself to get back into the game so late on. Um, mm. You know, the outcome's still the same. You still only end up with one point. But that's how it feels. I don't I don't feel that disappointed overall. Just maybe a little bit frustrated that we, we probably should have won the game, but we didn't. But it, were, it, it was a better performance and it was a winning performance for me. But can't always go your way in football, can it? No, that's true. Um, and fair play to Fleetwood. Uh, they made it a bit of the game, you know, they, they yeah. tested us. Um, <clears throat> and fair play to the fans as well, making journey. Yeah. Poor conditions yet again, you know, with weather and stuff like that. But I look at it like this, me, and we're still, you know, you look at the table, uh, but yeah, we're in playoffs, but it's very, very tight. FA Cup game coming up at the weekend. So, but then it's back to matters, like you just said, via Derby. Derby away. Derby away. Tricky ground to go to. We'll do another video on that. But again, promising signs there. I would be going with all key for the cutter. Absolutely. Um, starting yeah. with that. All being well, because goes back. But again, I think he needs to get his head in right gear. I think he needs to knuckle down because I think there's a obviously we know there's goals in the player, but his minute he looks a frustrated player, whether it's again that's confidence. Yeah. I don't know. Um but then again, you can go to like Aidan Marsh being extended loan out again, another player who want confidence. So again, it's confidence building, but we don't want to be going into like December. Cosgrove still wants to get back. Cosgrove reminds me a bit like, I think he got touched on in the previous video, a bit like Norwood when he came in, a bit like his sharpness, a bit confidence. And then all yeah. of a sudden, we know, we know there's goals there in him. He just came back with yeah, self-belief back in the middle. He's got 12th uh, for, for uh, Plymouth Remember. last season in yeah. League One mm. as, as a bit part player. So there's definitely goals in him. Mm. I, think, I, get, I think it's just a confidence thing. I think it will come. I think he, once he gets that goal, I think we'll start seeing a few. And like you said, it was very similar to Norwood last year. They got off to a bit of a slow start. But once he, once, once he were up and running, they were really good. And, I, and I'm, hoping, you know, I'm hoping so, I thought, lad. Yeah. And he's our player as well. He's not on loan. So he yeah. wants to come good and, uh, you know, knuckle down and obviously claim a try. And challenge or claim a first team spot. Yeah, well, maybe so, Friday cups a, an opportunity to stick him in from start, mate, and see what he can do. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. Potentials, the opportunities, the yeah, yeah. Our game ago, got no to lose on that, really. Uh, no respect to Arsham, but yeah, I'd be doing that. So I mean, you know, it's a draw. Mm, probably not outcome that we wanted, but like come back. Uh, who were you man at match? Who, who stood out for you on on the day, right? Um, I think there was I think there was some really good uh, some really good performance to be fair, but I'd probably say I think I think McAtee had a good game. I think McAtee had a really great game, and also oh. um, both me and our kid both said that I thought John Russell had a really good game as well. I thought oh. John Russell played really well. I thought it were a bit unfortunate to be taken off really, because oh. um, I think he had one of his better games. So I'm going to say I'm going to say McAtee. McAtee, yeah. Uh, I was going to say McCart because I thought it you know his soldier and brave on, but looking at overall performance, you could. I think I'm gonna go up like Kane. I think his you know yep. his ball for O'Keefe. Yeah, um yeah. it seems to be like I said, but odd one or two sideways backwards, but not as much. So if that's been approached, I don't know, but I think he even identified it as sin, not in the shoulder game, but game before, but were a lot more balls going astray kind of thing. I, I won't really I knew I could do better. So yeah. obviously he must have been working on it. The yeah. Confidence, and if he's, you know, gets that confidence in, confidence breeds confidence. Luca Connell, you know, uh, having a forty-five minute uh, game nice comeback yeah. on Monday. So again, there's there's a lot more scope there, and uh, players probably feeling a bit more. I'm saying under threat, but uh, challenge for the positions. I'm just hoping that such as like such as Cosgrove and uh, Phillips can up their game and come into that bit of confidence and knock on from there going to season. Yeah. But uh yeah. Uh two two. Obviously we, we all need a win, but again we come back confidence. 
the fuel positives, the fuel negatives take take out in it. But all in all, Ryan, we're still, you know, we're still in an alpha position. We're still unbeaten. I think someone said we're unbeaten in October. So you, you can't not this fact, can you? You know what I mean? I mean, uh, you look at other teams around you, our tight is in League One. I'd be like saying, yeah, unbeaten in October. Would I took back at, you know, end of September? Yeah, I'll take that. Yeah, absolutely. Um, so, yeah, Ryan, as always, pleasure for joining me, mate. Uh, yes, leave your comments below. Please like, subscribe and share. Be interested to know your man at match. Um, what your thoughts on with the uh, substitutions, Cotter, Phillips and stuff like that. Uh, it's not a great weekend, but it's a, it's a good weekend. We come back. It's undefeated in October. Dust sends down. Move on to FA Cup. Far being well, we can have a bit of a decent FA Cup run um, and take it on from there. Uh, one thing left to say: you Reds. <laughs>